Today's Bible study is titled, Called Me by His Grace. In our last installment, Paul began a history lesson on, the unique calling and message he received of the, Lord Jesus Christ today he continues. But when it pleased God, who separated me from my, mother's womb, and called me by His grace, to reveal His, Son in me, that I might preach Him among the heathen, immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood, neither went I up to Jerusalem to them which were, apostles before me, but I went into Arabia, and returned, again unto Damascus. Then after three years I went up to, Jerusalem to see Peter, and abode with him fifteen days, but other of the apostles saw I none, save James the Lord's, brother. Galatians 1 verses 15 to 19 KJV Let's break this down. The history lesson continues as Paul states, But when it pleased, God, who separated me from my mother's womb, and called, me by his grace. So, here we have Paul showing that his calling, and message were not an afterthought with God, rather God, had his plan for Paul to be the revelator of grace in place from, before he was even born. And further, God planned to both to reveal his son in me, and in that revealing that I might preach him among the heathen. So, the gist of this is that God planned from before, the foundation of the world, example, when the mystery, message Paul was given was conceived in the mind of God, that Paul would be the chosen revelator of this message. And when the plan of God was implemented with Paul's, encounter of the Lord on the road to Damascus, something, strange happened. Namely, to show that the message given, to Paul was different, immediately I conferred not with flesh, and blood, neither went I up to Jerusalem to them which, were apostles before me, and the student of the word will ask. Why? Why, would Paul not go up to Jerusalem and learn the message, from them which were apostles before me, if he was preaching, the same message as them, as most teach? And this is a very, good question that will lead the student of the word to, understand that Paul preached a different message, by observation. The history lesson continues as Paul notes that instead of, going up to Jerusalem, he, went into Arabia, and returned, again unto Damascus. Then after three years I went up to, Jerusalem to see Peter, and abode with him fifteen days, but other of the apostles saw I none, save James the Lord's, brother. So, Paul spoke with Peter and James the Lord's, brother, only after three years of training, by the Lord in Arabia. And this was just as Christ promised, but rise and stand upon, thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make, thee a minister and a witness both of these things which thou, hast seen, and of those things in the which I will appear unto, thee, Acts 26 verse 16. And the question that a true student of the word would ask at this point is why? Why did Jesus Christ want and need another apostle? And why an apostle to the Gentiles when he had already given a great commission to the twelve that included going to the Gentiles, at some point? And why not have the twelve instruct this new guy, since the Lord personally trained them? To answer this, you'll need to hang out in Galatians 1 and 2, as well as Acts 15, which we'll be doing as we continue in our dashboard study of Galatians. Believer, be a student of the Word and ask why. Thank you for listening to this Bible study today.